Hey guys, what's up? It's Tactical Duelist here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Uh, this will be uh, the stuff that I'm finishing up with that's Korean, right? I understand that y'all in the comment section don't like the Korean cards, but I have a lot. Uh, this is the last batch of what I got left, so I want to kind of just dig into it and uh, dissect it and see what I did end up getting. Right, I got some, uh, I forget this pack's name, dang it. I got some Precious Packs, Volume 2, uh, and some uh, Chronicles uh, Second Wave Packs, right? So I have a bunch of these that I'm just waiting to crack open. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like. Uh, it helps it a lot for me making more videos. Um, and this is uh, part two of my comeback. I've uh, I posted one video I think about last week, right? And uh, it went over pretty good. I mean, I got a lot of comments of like "Welcome back" and like "Thanks for blowing out my eardrums ASAP." Thanks, Radrex. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, I think let's start with the blue packs first because I just forget what they're called. Um. Something, I don't think it's, an, I don't know if it's Invasion of Chaos. I don't think it's Invasion of Chaos. We'll save these, uh, uh, part two, or these, uh, packs for afterwards. And we have two Chronicles packs. So, if anything, I think we'll start with the Chronicles packs first. Just because those are the fun ones. And we're going to see what we end up getting first. Slide these guys over a little bit. Now, if I'm certain, these guys had a Dark Magician in it last time. So let's see if I can pull one out. All right, let's go down the middle. All right, first peel. Let's see what we get. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, junk synchron. Uh, something to do with infernities. Don't know you. And then there's this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Vanilla Monster, pretty much. Vanilla slash uh, Pendulum Monster. Uh, I'm not too sure. I really haven't been keeping up with uh, the decks like that. But let's get to this next pack. Uh, and leave a like, or leave a comment down below of what I should open up next. Okay. Got Battle Fader. Uh, I would assume this is like a type of polymerization, type of fusion card. Oh, another one of these boys. And... Another one of these. Okay, so those didn't really have too much in it. Surprisingly, it didn't really have much. Let's get on with these. The blue packs. Alley-oop. Alley-oop. Something to do with hot deaths. Robo Yaru or something like that. Robo Yaru. Uh, no, I don't know. It's like spell canceler, but not. I don't know the name of it. Uh, oh, Legacy of Darkness. That's what this one's called. I think. Is that a Legacy of Darkness or Legend of Darkness? This one. Female Robo Yard. I don't know. I don't know what that's called. Um. Some sort of turtle thing. This guy. And, uh, Uterine. I don't know. I, like I said, okay, this is one of those older ones, right? But I just don't remember any cards from this set. I don't remember anything from this set, I don't think. Like, I know Yugi's on the front, but I don't think Yugi has anything to do with these cards. Like, I don't know what this is. Oh. I know what this is. Fuck, I don't know. I saw this card earlier. I saw a video about this card. And uh, I just, I don't know anything about it. I don't know how to describe it. This guy. Something of the Exiled. Right. I don't know what this is. And some sort of trap. Wow. I am, I am dumb today. I literally chose the worst packs to open. Thanks for, uh... 
Thanks for the help. Okay, trap card. Okay. Okay, cave dwelling dragon. Something like that. Water reptile. Earth monster. And this bell card. I don't even think they got any few. I mean, they might have fusions in here. I don't know. I think uh, Pharaoh Servant had was the first one to do fusion stuff. Don't quote me on that. Maybe. Okay, another one of these. This. So I'm going to do a Tyrant Dragon. This guy and this. It feels so good to actually record and sit down and do something with you guys again. I know it's been a while. This guy. This guy. This fire guy. This guy covered in fire. And this trap card again. Am I going to get like one ultra in here? Or one like decently rare card? Like that'd be dope. That. Oh! Die! Let's go. Oh, I've seen these two schmucks. Are you two schmucks are kind of. Okay. I forgot. This is the one that had like gimmicky cards in it. This had gimmick stuff in it, and that's like pretty okay. I mean, it has problems to that, but you know, it's whatever, it's whatever. Gimmick cards or gimmick cards? This. Oh, okay. I know this one. This is a uh, dragon controller or dragon manipulator, and some cat girl. Could have at least been, you know. I don't know, we could have had Pharaoh Serum, we could have had a Spell Ruler. I don't know why I got these ones. Maybe, um, I, I think these are just ones I forgot to open up in Korea. This last one, uh, some of the same stuff. Dragon Manipulator, and that's about it. Some uh, Dark Ruler cards for uh, Hades, or Hades. So yeah, that was pretty good, pretty, pretty terrible. Make a deck out of this. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> okay, let's grab a couple of these Zexel Precious Packs. Uh, seems I can get like stuff like Volcanic Doomfire, uh, Harpy Cards, or uh, what's it called? Part or what's it called? It's, um, Crystal Beasts. So let's see what we get. It's the first one I've opened in a while. Let's go. Some trap card I don't know, some spell card I don't know. Okay, this is Hero City 2. Okay, this is uh, Rainbow Bridge. And Volcanic Hammer. Okay. Hammer is pretty cool. So, yeah, I was right about the other two uh, things you draw up in here. I guess you could draw some hero stuff in here too. Okay, this is one of those, uh, what's it called cards? This is, uh, Six Samurai. Okay, it's Crystal Beast support. This is Gravekeeper. This is, uh, tons of twisters or whatever. And there's Zara. Zara's back. That's pretty cool. Zara, and that one's a Light Fairy, I think. Yeah, pretty sure she's a light fairy. Okay, six samurai. We have uh, another crystal beast card, amber mammoth, some implosion card, and Ugh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that stuff! Gross. I like how the text is really big for these cards too. Like. It's a lot better than I say looking and reading all that. Because, I mean, if I could, I'd just be like, what the hell am I doing? Okay, next one. Ooh, six samurai. This is a crystal beast support. Light fairy. Zara. 
Tri Blaze Ex or Blaze Accelerator, and some Goblin card. I actually do like the uh, Volcanic Archetype's really fun to use, I think. I think it'd be something fun to use, which is why I'm making mine right now. Uh, I know if I go through like the Soul Burner uh, like card sets, I can get some, so that's what I will be doing, and I have been doing already. Alright, so next we have Six Samurai. This is a gem card. This is a this has like a bunch of GX stuff. Wait a minute. This one Hasselberry's cards, I'm pretty sure. Okay, the twin tor or the triple tornado. And that. Cause I don't know what that is. Seems a little fishy to me. I don't know. I don't know guys. I don't know. Uh leave a like if you know what that is. Ah. Uh, kinda like a Bist Dweller, but not really. Because there are, ooh, that's some pretty nice uh, Six Samurai card. It's in a uh, Super Rare. Pretty cool. Uh, yep, and then another Six Samurai card right after uh, the Crystal Beast card. Now, do I think the Crystal Beast archetype is terrible? In some ways, since I think it's really bricky. Other than that, it's pretty good. Oh, cool. Okay, so I got six samurai card. Amber Bamith. This is what this is the uh wind monarch in super rare. Uh yeah, it looks pretty good actually. Ching like like, like that shimmer is really nice. Uh, it's slight, like it's not like it's not like pushed on too much. It has like that ridge to the yellow, the gold parts. Uh, we have another six samurai card. We have another gem card. All right, let's go for this one. Let's go for broke. I think about ten of these left after this one. We'll have to see if, uh, if I'm good at counting or not. Okay, we get this trap card, volcanic hammer again. This thing. Ugh. Twister and Topaz Tiger. Topaz Tiger. Topaz Tiger is actually pretty good because it gets 2,000 attack when it's on the field by itself, or when it's on the field in a and it's a battle phase. Goblin card. I don't know if that's an elemental hero card or not. I don't know. I don't think it's ocean, but it looks similar. Whoa. Whoa, a volt card. I don't know what it's called. Like nine volts or something like that. This guy. Oh, and a hummingbird. Nice. Hummingbird is quite good, actually. You know, this is the second this is the second set to have hummingbird in it. First one I had was Strike of Neos, and then this is the second one. Unfortunately, Strike of Neos also had the only copy of uh, Air Neos, which I got two of. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we've got this guy. We've got a Hasselberry Dinosaur. We have... I think this is a Dark World card. Don't quote me on that. This guy, another Air Hummingbird. Get this next one out. Air Hummingbird. Pretty freaking good. That. This. What the heck are you? I don't know what you are. Okay. Rainbow Road. I think this is another uh, volcanic monster that I just have not seen before. I don't know. I haven't played much of Volcanics before, so it'd be kind of nice if I got to. Okay, this is the next one. Boom. Oh, nice. Amethyst, uh... Amethyst Panther Cat. Okay. Wrath of Neos. Ah, 
Volcanic Scattershot. Uh, I think it's an Archfiend. This is an Ochama card. Yeah, this is basically talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Like, the Precious Pack 2, you know, it says Axel on it. It's just talking about mostly GX. Uh, staples and cards and, like, what people use in the meta. Or maybe just, like, what people used for, uh, you know, during that time. Yeah, I, that's a uh, Crystal Red Geki, Wrath of Neos. Uh, this one, I don't know what that is. I don't know what you are. Cobalt Eagle. Very nice, very nice. Cobalt Eagle is actually pretty good. I don't know if it's him or Pegasus that people run. Sapphire Pegasus or Cobalt Eagle. I'm pretty sure they run two Sapphire Pegasus. Topaz Tiger. Uh, you got this thing. Twister. Uh, another volcanic card. This one might be a uh, scatter shot. I don't know who that is. And a crystal rag gecky. Crystal rag gecky. Gotta keep opening the packs. Da -da -da -da. Ah, here we go. Uh, Emerald turtle. This thing. Another blaze accelerator thing. That guy in the black hole. Not to get confused with dark hole. Black hole. Oh, that's another one of these guys. Boop. Six samurai. Boop. Our first Ultra in the set, which, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's like a plant monster, I guess. Uh, we got this thing, and this guy. I don't even, I know, I know like, half of the cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I can get some of the older stuff, but not a whole lot. Okay. Goblin. This guy. Try Blaze Accelerator, really good card actually. That's how you can summon a uh, Volcanic Doomfire. Uh, this guy and Volcanic Hammer. Now the real question is, are you allowed to combine Korean and English decks or English cards into a deck? The answer is yes, right? However, there is however there's some stuff to it, right? You're allowed to do that, but. Ooh, Dark World Dealings. That's a nice ultra rare, actually. That's pretty cool. And this is a Blaze Accelerator. What you're not allowed to do, right? Or, or, or rather, the errata for that is you have to have an explanation of what your card does right on the side of whenever you have that card in your hand. Or whenever you have that card in general, right? Alright, so we got Air Hummingbird, this guy, Volcanic Hammer, this guy, and these two schmucks. Very fun. I have seven more uh, packs left to open for this video. So, if you guys made it this far, please like, subscribe, and, you know, just do what you can for the channel. Okay, we got Six Samurai, this guy. Uh, I don't know if he's an elemental hero or not. Uh, a cave. And, uh, this thing. This will be my last Korean pack opening video. We'll say somehow. <sighs> I don't find more. More Korean cards. Which I doubt I'll find any more than this. Okay, another one of these. Uh, we have a, uh... Oh, Ancient Rules. Very cool. Twister. Ancient Rules. Archfiend. And a Blaze Accelerator piece. I missed, uh, I honestly missed doing this, but I really need quiet around whenever I need, whenever I can do this. It's pretty good. Okay, we got Hollingbird. Crystal. 
Bixby stuff, uh, Hasselberry stuff, Whirlwind stuff, and Chap card I can't read or understand or know what it is. Hmm. There we go. Uh, this guy. Ooh, Gem Abundance. This guy and... What are you? You're not even Element to Hero Ocean. You're just some freak show on my side of the field at this point. You're pretty cool looking. I don't know what you do. I'd have to check about what he does or what, or what kind of monster he is. It's just kind of uh, a little whack to me. Okay, bud? Okay, water guy. Uh, crystal card. Weird monster. Weird monster. Hassleberry monster. Okay, it's time to open this one. Okay. Uh, Amber Mammoth. Pretty cool. Here we have uh, Rainbow Ruins. Rainbow Ruins was called. Okay. A secret rare card I've never seen before. Looks like a moose thing. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, this uh, trap again. An Emerald Thorl. Right, last one, ladies and gentlemen. Please give us good luck. Okay. Alright, so we are going to do this, right? Okay, so we got Blaze Accelerator. Goblin Guy. We have Six Samurai Monster. Crystal Bundin. Or, or, or uh, the Crystal Card that lets you draw two. And. Sarah is the last monster. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's uh, unboxing video. As always, um, please leave a like, comment down below what your favorite part about this video was. And as always, this has been the Tactical Duelist signing off. Take care and have yourselves a good day. Later.